Good morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity and today is an MX Arts project share. I'm also going to show you something at the end of it which will surprise you on the price and also where it was from and I'm also going to announce the Easter competition. Right so first up I've used let me grab it from my hand here. The um, skinny decks, which I designed. This is available at MXR. Comes with the little circles, which fit the Dollar Tree packaging. And you also get hexagons so that, you know, you can have all summery bee themes and stuff going on there if you want to. I've used one of the birthday cakes, which is embossed with happy birthday. I've used the martini cocktail shaker glass, but I didn't do it as a shaker. It can be seen on the website as a shaker. I did it as a flat card because I know not everyone is into shakers. And I also used the little sort of, I don't know how you describe this. It's kind of like folk art, sort of Scandinavian or Swedish sort of autumn type character, squirrel, rabbit, deer and bear which is really really cute so I did that and that was sort of like a seasonal swerve <laughs> from spring and summer and I used my icing borders which I showed you last week and if you don't know what it looks like in Dollar Tree foam that's what it looks like nice and thick so use those I also use the small envelope die which I showed you a couple of weeks ago and I will link everything below and I also use surprise creations scallop edge uh, slim lines from the double set that she does right projects first oops struggling underneath to get the biggest and it's that autumn theme, sort of like bunny, squirrel, you get a tiny little acorn. So I just sort of like camouflage that onto the envelope there and you also get a little mushroom. But aren't they sweet? They really are very folk art. And then in there I put one of the um, cutter parts from my scrapbook pad. I think this is Echo Park and it came from Tuesday morning last year. Oh my god, <laughs> isn't that cute? Really like that. And of course, you can use this die set also for Christmas. You can just cut all of these in sort of like white glitter or something, have a sparkly little mushroom, and just pop a Christmas tree behind. Yeah, really love that. So, I'm going to measure what I believe is the biggest one, and that is the deer. And somewhere around here, I know I have a ruler. Yeah, there it is, tucked onto my keyboard and taking it from the top there to the bottom of its little legs. It's, let me get that correct, just a fraction under, three and a half inches. And then the width of that one, because they all come in the set. I'm trying to move stuff off my board here. I've had... Uh, loads of glitter and stuff out the other day and that is a fraction over two inches but just really really cute and of course you can use those characters on their own and cut in white that can be used for Easter so really really sweet and I think that one is my first autumn card of the year right next up is the martini glass and that is this one slimline again this is using the double stitch which also comes in the set with the scallop so kind of like as i had this package out i decided to use them both and this is cut in that gorgeous gorgeous glitter paper pad from michael's well it's not a paper pad it's a pack you get all sort of like off cuts of glitter and I paid two bucks in their sale. It's usually five bucks, but even at five bucks, it's totally worth it because you get all those luxurious glazed glitter papers in sizes that you can use. Unless, of course, you want to make a full background, then um, it's not going to do for you. But for cutting things like the uh, 
martini glass and sort of like the orange and the bow and stuff it's perfectly sized for that love the straw stickers here are from echo park i think it's here comes summer or something and then you've got hello there with that sticker below but i just think that's really really cheerful cheerful and happy and i'm gonna measure that as a glass four and a quarter inches once you pop the straw in according to the website you are looking at just over five and a quarter inches so perfect on a slim line but you've got a great border i'll put my finger there so that you can get your tape in for doing um a shaker die so it's not one of those little finickety trickety ones you can actually um, get your hands on it and make it nicely this background paper i also believe is echo park from the same pack as the stickers so that's that one next up is the birthday cake all chunky and all done in dollar tree foam board you can see how nice and thick that is and there's those icing borders done in the dollar tree foam i just absolutely love this one i think this one is my favorite because it does it just looks like the piped icing you get around the edge of your cake and then all of this cut in dollar tree foam as well it embosses happy birthday you've got little candles up at the top teeny tiny put my finger there so you can see how small they are and this is on the skinny decks card so i'm gonna measure that cake three inches and go up to where the candles are two and a half inches so i've done that as per the website right so those are my three mx art projects for today now i do know tomorrow i'm going to be up with some more eiffel store that's taking us into thursday but what i wanted to show you was these now i got these from tuesday morning i love them because they keep all your sequins neat and tidy um, you can buy as many sets as you want and you can stack them up and they're 3 dollars for a set of, I think it's either three or four containers at Tuesday morning. I've got a feeling it might be three containers that you get for $3.99. So I was in Walmart on, um, when was it? Saturday. And Walmart do them. They are exactly the same. They are identical in size, in the lid in everything and these are a set of four are you ready for a dollar 97 and they do them in different sizes so if you've got small collections of like little jump rings or tiny little seed beads and things like that then they're just going to be absolutely brilliant i was actually shocked when i saw them in walmart because i thought it was just we are memory keepers that did them but they are absolutely identical I got them thinking they're going to be inferior quality. They're not going to be as good as, and they're not going to be as big as, but they're identical. So when you're in Walmart, make sure you grab yourself some because they are brilliant for keeping, you know, sort of everything organized and tidy. And here's what they look like empty. I'm going to fill those up in a minute because I've got like 30 bags of sequins that I need to do. But they're just great because they don't get dusty. They stay nice and clean and they take up such a small footprint on a shelf. So there you go. You get this one is the um, the largest size and I will actually measure that across there so that you know what you're looking for. Sometimes I actually put a tape measure in my bag when I'm going shopping. They're two and three quarter inches across and they are ooh, an inch deep. So they're just brilliant and they're half the price of Tuesday morning. And uh, I don't know how much cheaper they are than other websites like scrapbook.com and whatnot. Maybe up to $4 cheaper per set. So make sure you get yourself some of those. Right. Next thing is the Easter competition. 
Now, if you remember the Christmas competition, it was a long one. It was for 12 projects and the prizes were quite large. It was a £3 weight of dies, a £2 weight of dies and a £1 weight of dies. And I also gave another runner-up gift of scrapbook pads with ephemera and stuff. But I've had a look at my, my actually, my dwindling supply of paper piecing dies. So this competition is going to be smaller. And it's for five projects and you must use my dies. That's the thing that you have to do, whether it's the skinny decks, the ATCs, the hanging basket, whatever it is you want to use, you must include some of my dies within the projects. You can use other dies as well, but I do ask that you at least use one of my dies in what you're making. <clears throat> Excuse my throat. They have to be Easter themed, whether you choose cute, religious, a combination, whatever it is, springtime, but it must be sort of spring Easter themed. And the winner will be announced on Monday, April the 5th, which is the day after Easter Sunday. You've got to do five projects and the prize is a two pound weight of dies so it's just one prize this time so that's what you're fighting for a two pound weight of dies which i think is about i'm thinking about what i weighed last time i think it's something like 100 to 150 die sets that you will be getting so that's what that is that's what a two pound weight of dies is like once you get it in your hands but they will all be paper piecing dies There'll be dies that are already cut apart because I've already made them. And that's a great advantage because you can go back on my videos and see how to do them. Or they're going to be left hole and connected, which means they're brand new and I haven't used them yet. So start your Easter creating. That's all I can say. Right. As usual, all links are below. You have an absolutely awesome day and I will see you tomorrow with some Eiffel store. Bye.